To get started, I just added a video of a bird to my timeline that I like to draw a circle around. Let's begin by positioning the time marker over the clip we'd like to add our circle to and then going down here to the Fusion tab. Click the Eclipse button to create an Eclipse node. Then click the Background button on the far left to create a background node. And lastly, click the Merge button with the two overlapping rectangles to create a merge node. Some of these nodes will automatically link up to each other, so just click the right side of each line to unlink them for now. And I'm also going to drag those three nodes between my media in and out nodes and stack them on top of each other like this. Now let's drag the square on the eclipse node to the triangle on the background node to connect them. Then drag the square on the media in node to a triangle on the merge node to connect them. Drag the square on the merge node to the triangle on the media out node to connect them. Finally, drag the square from the background node to a triangle on the merge node to connect them. At this point, if you did everything right, you should see a filled in circle like this on your video. Now let's change a few of our Eclipse's settings. Select the Eclipse node and go over to the inspector. Uncheck the solid checkbox so that our Eclipse becomes an outline. Then increase the border width to your liking. I'm going to set mine to 0.02. Now to change the color of the circle, select the background node. In the inspector, use the color selector to select your desired color. Alright, now to move and resize our Eclipse, start by selecting the Eclipse node. To move the Eclipse around, just drag the square with the two arrows coming out of it. To change the size of your circle, drag one of the corners of the circle to change its size uniformly. To change only the height, drag the top or bottom of the circle. To change its width, drag the left or right side of the circle. Okay, now my circle looks good, but at this point it's going to play for the entire duration of my video clip. To show the circle for only a certain point in your video, select the background node. In the inspector, the global in and out setting will affect when your circle first appears in your clip and when it goes away. So to change when my circle first shows up, I'm going to drag the first point in a little bit. This will be reflected by this green line in the playback window. And to change when your circle exits the frame, just drag the other point on the slider to the left. Okay, and now my circle will appear for the duration reflected by the screen line. Once you're finished adding your circle, you can just go back to the edit tab to see it on your timeline. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.